Uh, this is a response to Hal, who asked the question, how do you control the growth and spread of bamboo in Pennsylvania? Well, Hal, that's an interesting question in that why would you be needing to control bamboo in Pennsylvania? I don't believe that bamboo is native to Pennsylvania. Have you ever traveled out of the country, Hal, and come back and found you had to fill out a customs declaration? And on it, a number of questions pertain to plants. The thing being that the government does not want you to bring in plants from outside the country. This has caused incredible problems. In every area, you will have some level of government declare noxious weeds that are to be controlled. Typically, about half of that list are what's called invasive species. They're invasive because they come from someplace other outside the area. And given that they did not evolve in their new location, the controls that would be there in its natural and original state are not there. And so these, weed, these plants end up being real problems in declared weeds. Things like purple loosestrife. Have you ever been down to, say, Virginia, Tennessee, uh, Kentucky, that kind of area, Hal, and seen kudzu? Does a great job climbing up power poles and can usurp them in a space of about two weeks. Uh, will climb up trees and get to the top of the canopy and just is so thick that the tree can no longer get light because the kudzu has taken it, taken it over. Devastating on, on uh, forest stands. Now, some guy came up with a brilliant idea that he should bring in this plant from Japan and try to use it to stabilize slopes on roadsides. Seemed like a good idea at the time, but these days there are probably people doing dishonorable things to this man's grave. So, how do you control the growth and spread of bamboo in Pennsylvania, Hal? First off, don't plant the darn stuff. Secondly, get a group together and go and protest outside any nursery that you find that is selling bamboo. This sort of stuff shouldn't be turned loose in our environment. It's not native to North America. Now, maybe you're asking the question because a neighbor planted it and it's slowly creeping onto your property and you don't know how to get rid of it. That could be a complicated issue. Maybe, Hal, you planted it and now have a problem in that it's taken over the yard. Well, if it's in your yard, it's a little simpler because you don't have to worry about property rights, okay? So I'm going to tell you the simple fix. Herbicides. What you want to do is spray the bamboo with a product containing glyphosate. Bamboo has a big root system, so it may not get take care of the entire thing on the first application. So it starts regrowing another treatments required. I said that the it has a big root system and what that means is that any method of control necessitates killing off that root system. Now glyphosate is pretty good at moving around in plants and so it should get a lot of it. If that's not an option for you, guess what pal? You're in for a lot of work. Because what you need to do is you need to exhaust all the food reserves in that root system. Now, where do the food reserves come from? They come from leaves. So that means you've got to cut off the tops so that there's no leaves producing food to send down to the root system. However, what will happen is there will be sprouts coming up from the root system. You're going to have to cut each time the sprouts come up, cut them off. And you're going to have to do that for a period probably over several years and it may require, oh, I don't know, let's say four times a growing season, four to six times a growing season, uh, cutting off the stuff that comes up. But after a couple of years, that root system should be exhausted and you will be free of bamboo. So to return, Hal, to the original thing to prevent the growth and spread don't plant things that are foreign to the area you're bringing them to.